Hello and uh, welcome to a new short video. Today I want to show you how to uh, update a supplier bank number and also bank branch number. As you know in release 12 there is a different architecture related to uh, banks and also to supplier banks. So all the banks and uh, branches are created as a parties in the trade party management module and what I saw in few projects that uh, people are a little bit confused how they should manage the, the update for uh, banks and banks branches and they end up to create you know duplicated banks and also the branches so let, let's start first I will show you uh, a bank account for a specific supplier I will log into uh, payables progress UK super user suppliers entry I have a supplier number so I will search by this number and I will navigate to banking details and here I will see the, the bank account I already have uh, created I will go to update this bank account and here as you can see I'm not able to do any changes related to bank or either to uh, bank branch so what is happening as I mentioned at the beginning of this uh, video is that uh, if someone needs to do a, an update they just end date this bank account and they will create a new bank account by creating a new bank and also a new branch in case uh, some information is uh, not correct instead to go this route you know and also to avoid duplicates and later to have a very difficult activity to clean all this uh, master data for banks and branches there is a very easy way to to update uh, all the required information so what I will do I will go back to home under the same responsibility I will go to setup then payments and banks and uh, bank branches and here I will navigate uh, based on country or I can use uh, and go directly to banks or bank branches to depend on what information I want to update but in our case in our example our bank was created under Brazil country so I will just uh, expand and also this is the, the bank I want to change so what I will uh, show you in this uh, short demo is uh, I will update the bank account to the bank number and also I will uh, update the alternate name for the branch so I'll go first for the bank update then let's say here I want to uh, to change the bank number from 238 to uh, 237 to 238 so I can click finish so this now the change is done what I will do I will also want uh, I will go and change something to the branch so I'm just seeing the, the branch update branch and here let's say I want to, to change the alternate branch name to have exactly both the, the branch name and also the branch number exactly the same uh, branch number so I will click finish to save my work 
and you can see that I have the alternate branch name here saved. Now let's go back to supplier and, and see how the changes are looking like. So go home, then navigate back to Papers Progress UK Super Users, Suppliers Entry. So I will search again by my supplier number banking details then here i will go again click update on the bank account so as you can see the bank number is updated also if i uh, look to the branch details i also see that my uh, branch name is also updated so in case you need to do any changes for your uh, uh, supplier bank or uh, branch this is the correct way to do it to avoid as I mentioned at the beginning duplicating any banks or branches and also creating uh, duplicated uh, bank accounts so this is all for today thank you for watching and I hope you will find it you find this uh, short demo very useful see you thank you bye